with Dylan Cargill. So near, yet so far. Yes. But the swagger seems back amongst the players. Yeah, definitely confidence levels have increased. Um, it's a difficult one to take conceding so late on. It's just one we've got to deal with it a bit better. But credit to the boys, they put everything out on the pitch. I think three or four people are cramping up, so we've definitely run for each other, put the bodies on the line. It's just that last little bit. Yeah, it was a brilliant advert for non-league football and from a neutral they would have been treated to an absolute humdinger. Yeah. But does it feel like a defeat when they score so late? Um, it definitely does feel like a defeat, but at the same time, you know, they're a good team, credit to them. Um, and we've, we've, we've battled there for 90 minutes, 90 plus minutes, I don't know how long he's added on at end, but... 99, I think it was <laughs> at the end. <laughs> there you go. Um, and there's positives to take, obviously we've got in good areas, um, could have maybe put game to bed, but... Like I say, we've, we've, we've run for 90 minutes there and um, the confidence is definitely back. Bish has spoken about his pride in every single player that's gone out there today. Just a shame that he didn't have enough substitutes for the number of players that <laughs> probably needed to come off at the end. Yeah, yeah. I say I will cramping up myself. There were a few others, but... Was it the acrobatic overhead kick clearance that did it? It could have been. I don't know. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, like I say, um, it's just positives to take from it, I think. Coming here, you know, we knew it was going to be tough. Um, we executed the game plan pretty well. Um, like I say it's just that last little bit but um, on the whole it's a positive exactly the games continue to come thick and fast probably with a time you need a breather it's league leader South Shields next yeah like we'll, we'll prepare right and um, we'll do um, everything we can to be right for Tuesday and I think we'll give them a good go to be honest with you Moody McCamp's still up there yeah definitely like I say it's, it's gutting to come off and Drop two points, but obviously there's a lot of positives to take from there and uh, take it to Tuesday and hopefully get a result against them. And obviously I think the important thing is after the 6-2 win against Mask on Tuesday night, it was backing it up and a point on the board, four points, two games. It's a little bit of a run. Yeah, definitely. Like we're back to defending well, being hard to beat, running as headers, running as tackles and we're looking a threat in the opposition box as well. I think in the four games where obviously we, had, we went for a little blip, it won't right either, and we won't keep in clean sheets and we won't really scoring, so obviously we made it tough for ourselves. But I think obviously the boys have come through it. Um, yeah, it's looking positive again. And that partnership with you and Hayden again, re established at the back, yeah. and both putting your body on the line with some really brave blocks. Yeah, definitely. Well, that, that's our job. You know, I mean, we, we have to put his body on the line and we have to do what we can to keep the ball out of his net. And credit to Yates as well, pulled off an unbelievable save. In first half, he made a couple of good ones in the second half, but um, I'd say yeah, it's positive on the whole. On to South Shields, let's see what the future brings. Yeah, definitely.